This is a video for anyone who's thinking about buying a new computer for editing, but can't decide between laptops or desktops. Basically, you're thinking about buying a new editing powerhouse computer and you're dreaming of editing on a beach or a train or moving abroad and being able to edit on the move. But let me tell you this, 90% of people will probably never do that. And the ones that do will be annoyed as heck, especially if they bought a Mac, because they'll need to plug in their external hard drive so the computer doesn't slow down loads. And then you have to add on these annoying adapters and suddenly you have a laptop with wires everywhere and the editing sucks out so much power, you suddenly have to have a power bank and then that runs out of battery and you need to find a plug. That's the reality of editing on a laptop, I'm afraid. But I still want to edit on a laptop. Stupid brain, ignoring logic. Okay, so this intro is very down on laptops for editing. So let's look at their pros before you compare them to a desktop. Well, the first pro is portability. The number one reason to own a laptop for editing is to be portable. That's why it's called a laptop. Laptops make it handy to do a quick edit out and about or on a train or even on holiday. That's really its main plus. It's hard to lug a 27 inch desktop around. And I'm afraid that's kind of it when it comes to the pros over a desktop. The power available on laptops these days means you can edit 4K footage on the no problem, but it comes at a price, which brings us onto the cons. Firstly, they are more expensive than desktops, and for the price you pay, they're usually less powerful too, so you get less oomph for your money. The screens are small, Yes, 16 inches big for a laptop. When I edit on a 27 inch desktop, I still have another screen and I feel like I need more screens too. For me, the worst thing is the storage space. Unless you're willing to sell your kidney, you'll only end up with 500 gigabytes of storage, which means you'll always be trying to work out what to delete next when you start a new project. Don't kid yourself that that won't happen. Trust me, it will. Also, if you do go abroad with your laptop, you tend to find that travel insurance covers things up to a thousand pounds, maybe only 500, unless you bolt on extras, which most people don't even think about doing. So when it's stolen or smashed to pieces, it's gonna hurt even more. So that's laptops. What about desktops? What are their pros and cons over a laptop? Well, let's start with the thing that lets them down loads. So they're not portable. You can't edit on a train or a plane or a beach with a giant screen. I'm sure someone's sitting there going, oh, I did that once. You can try it. It probably won't work out well. The pros, you get, the pros, the pros, the pros, you get more for your money. External hard drives that are really important for editing sit on the desk without them annoying you. They don't run out of battery, they don't tend to have a lot more internal storage, so you can go years without having to have a good old tidy up, and they're more powerful. Unpopular opinion alert, but anyone who's really serious about editing needs to get a desktop. It is hands down a better option for video editing. Come at me if you think otherwise, but also get a laptop too, because they're cool and you just want one. Even if you use it once ever to edit on the move, you still have a portable computer to do other things on. It's not like you're just going to edit on it, right? So if you can't decide, this is what you should consider. If you've got lots of money, get a great big monitor and an expensive laptop, spec'd up to the max, and plug it in when you're working at home. It will cover everything. These giant monitors look awesome and give you so much space to work on, more than a desktop standard screen. If you're getting serious with your editing but your budget is tight, get a desktop and buy that laptop when you're rolling in money from all of your sweet edits. If you wanna learn more about editing computers, then watch this video here as it explains the things you need your computer to have to handle editing